Hey guys, I just got home from work. I'm about to finally do the headlights on the WRX. I got the uh, Diodynamic C lights. They're the switchbacks. I got the DRL harness and all that good stuff. The Mori Motor Retrofit glue to glue them back together. So I'm going to pull them out, pull them apart, paint the chrome, uh, put the C lights in, put everything back together. Uh, it's going to be a fairly simple process. I've done this so many times. And while everything's apart, Tyler's actually on his way over. We're going to do like a little video edit of his car later. And... Uh, I picked up this Turbo XS blow off valve because he really wants it, and I'm going to trade him this for uh, my old Boomba back. So that'll be cool. I'll have a new, uh, I'll have a part off the old WRX uh, on this one, so that'll be kind of cool. Uh, when I sold the silver car, I gave him that one. So um, we'll do that while the car's apart, but let's go ahead and get started on these lights. Well, guys, I apologize. I messed up and I didn't hit record on the camera. I really wanted to show you how easy it was to take this bumper off, so I recorded me removing the bumper, and I timed it, and it took me a minute and 28 seconds. So I wanted to show you just how easy it was, but it never recorded, so I apologize for that. Um, but trust me, I took it off in a minute and 28 seconds. It's, it's super, super freaking easy. So once you have the bumper off, and you have all your electronics disconnected, there's going to be a bolt here, a bolt here, bolt here, bolt here, and a clip here, bolt here, bolt here, clip here. camera all right i got the oven set to 200 degrees i got uh, all the bulbs out including the little sea light bulb here uh, so i'm gonna go ahead take all the screws out there's don't miss this hidden screw right here because if you miss that one it'll snap the plastic piece inside the headlight when you go to take it apart but brand new headlights so they should come apart really nice at 200 degrees uh, if 200 isn't hot enough, you can go like 225 or something. Just be careful because the lens will melt. <laughs> we got the first headlight apart, and Tyler opted in to do his favorite thing, which it's, is... It's the stickies. Whoops. That's the best part. You got to keep this stuff. So Tyler just helped me clean out all the uh, sticky original factory glue, and we have all that right here. Whoops got the chrome here and the lens so all we got to do now is take out there's a couple tabs here but the main thing is these screws there's three screws there you take them out and this will pretty much slide out All right, so my other camera decided to take a crap on me, but we just got done painting them. Uh, they look pretty good. So the only there's a couple little pieces of dirt in it here and there, but the finish is really good. Uh, and as you can see, a bug just landed in it. All right, so these have been sitting in the oven now at 170 degrees for quite a bit. And now you can finally see that pearl. I went ahead, left the uh, C on. I taped up the C to paint it. So we kept that chrome behind it so the C stands out a lot more. I'm, I'm excited to put these into the car. Now I'm still debating if I want to do it tonight or not. Um, they should be okay to go into the car, but I just want to make sure that they're, they're going to be good to go. I don't want to put them in the car and have it haze up. But like I said, they've been in there curing up for quite a while now. This paint should be ready to rock and roll. All right, guys, so I apologize. I actually... My camera died, and then my, I was recording on my phone, and my phone died, so I've just been having issues. Um, so I just went ahead and finished everything. Uh, basically, the same way you tear these apart, they go back together. So I use this Morimoto Retrofit glue. Uh, you basically stretch it out a little bit, and you'll run a seam the whole way along the outside of the light. 
then you'll press the lens down in and you'll be good to go. As you can see, everything looks good. Uh, besides all the smudge marks on this for me uh, handling it. But after you get it nice and hot and you reseal it, you'll see that glue goes around and seals it up really nice. And then you just want to go through, reclose up all the tabs and put the, uh, put the screws back in on the back. So if I get this, you can see, went ahead and put all the screws back in. So the only problem you're going to have is obviously what I'm going to do is let this cool down. I'm going to let it sit overnight uh, inside the house. Just let it let everything cool down. Let some of the fumes escape because if we seal this up right now, we might get some fogging on the lens and I don't want to do that. Um, so once you get uh, ready to go and you put your bulbs in, you're going to have to reseal this little spot here because this is originally what goes in there. And as you can see, I cut it because we no longer need this. So what you can do is you can either use the retrofit glue or some RTV silicone or a piece of rubber, anything you can get to seal this hole right here up. It's a pretty large hole to fill up considering the size of this, um, but I'm probably just going to use uh, the retrofit glue. I'm just going to uh, heat it up with a torch or something and uh, just push it on there. So, Or a heat gun, something of that nature, and then push it on there. So as you can see, this one still has this piece attached. And to go ahead and install the C-Lite, what I did is I cut this off. Let you see exactly what I did here. I went ahead and I cut that whole piece off. So here it is. Right here is where it would be on, on the factory piece. So these two red and black wires went into this. I cut that off. Here we have our harness for the C-Lite. The C-Lite harness comes out and this will plug into the power box and this will also plug into the power box. So this is the power source from the headlights. This will plug into the box. After the conversion, this will plug in from the box into the C-Lite. You do not want to hook the C-Lite up without that power box. So the yellow is for the switchback turn signals. I cut that off because I have no intentions of using it. What I did here is I cut and soldered the wires together. So uh, red goes with white for power. Black goes with black for ground. And this red wire here, I kept the connection on because this red wire is going to go to our DRL harness that's already installed on the car. So we're going to go ahead and do that for both sides. And then we're going to plug this into the box once it's in the car, plug this into the box once it's in the car, plug this into the DRL harness, and we'll be ready to go. So um, like I said, I'm going to let these sit overnight. Probably tomorrow morning I'm going to go out and I'm going to install these for the final time. And uh, we'll be done with it. All right, guys, so I got lazy and uh, the bumper's back on, headlights are back in, everything's hooked up. Uh, I just didn't feel like recording anymore, so sorry about that. Uh, just a heads up, do not use these stupid things. Um, Subi Speed gives you this stuff, Dire Dynamics gives you this stuff. Don't ever use these, they're just a complete weight. Like You should just throw them straight into the trash as soon as you get them. They don't work, they're unreliable. Uh, I used them once or twice on different things, and it shorted out every time. So uh, we have them hooked up now, and the way that they are hooked up is um, obviously to the parking lights. So where the factory, when the factory C light bulb would come on, these come on. They look amazing right now. They're at their full peak brightness. Uh, they're actually very bright in person. If I turn the light off, you'll see just how bright they really are. They are ridiculously bright. That is uh, the full brightness. And when the car is actually running, um, I'd have to start the car up. But when the car is actually running and you put the e-brake on, they actually dim a little bit. So maybe the car doesn't have to be on. Maybe it just needs to be in the on position. I forget. Um, let me see. No, the car actually has to be running. So I'll go ahead and start it just for the sake of the video. All right, so if I zoom up there on the fridge, I'm gonna pull the e-brake. You can see e-brake off, e-brake on, e-brake off, e-brake on. So now I'll let you see it. With the e-brake on, it dims it ever so slightly. Uh, in, the, in person, it's a little bit more noticeable, but it does dim it just a little bit. But they look so good. I'm super happy with it. Shut this thing off quick. All 
So uh, I'm in love with it. Every WRX should come stock with this. The only thing I'm not crazy about is I'm wondering if maybe I shouldn't have completely blacked out the side marker there. Maybe I should have just done uh, like a, a tinted amber or something like that. So obviously now uh, I didn't hook up the turn signal to the C light because I didn't like it. I think it looks kind of weird when the C light itself flashes as a turn signal because it'll actually turn off being white. It'll flash as the turn signal just pulsing. And then when you turn the turn signal off, it takes a couple seconds for the turn signal switch back to the C light and it'll actually just not be lit up at all for like two or three seconds. It just looks kind of weird. I don't like it in my opinion, um, but so I must prefer it like this. So that's the way I'm running it, but you could easily run it the other way if you want. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. I appreciate you watching. Sorry, I had some camera issues on this video, and uh, I know there's plenty of videos of people out there doing this. I actually have two or three of my own, I think, of me doing the headlights, so nothing special, but here's my version of it. Uh, so I went ahead and did these. Uh, I, I definitely like it. It definitely adds character to the car, it adds some depth to the front end, makes it look a little more aggressive. And uh, I really like it. So, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care.